coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. A new online game teaches kids about vaccination. This vaccination is a teeny tiny bit of the flu virus. It'll teach your body how to fight the flu virus. Let's fight the flu virus! What the PBS Produce plot fails to teach kids is that getting the flu vaccine might actually increase their risk of getting other more dangerous forms of the flu. Research confirmed that the seasonal flu vaccine may actually weaken children's immune systems and increase their chances of getting sick from influenza viruses not included in the vaccine. It's a condition they call original antigenic sin. It basically means if you get infected with a natural virus, that gives you not only protection against that virus, but similar viruses or even quite different flu viruses in the next year. According to a professor from the Australian National University, we may be perversely setting ourselves up that if something really new and nasty comes along, the people who have been vaccinated may in fact be more susceptible compared to getting this natural infection. Now that Obamacare is being peddled to Hollywood writers, we can expect to see even more healthcare related propaganda in children's shows. Children may be taught the importance of having health insurance and of course, convincing their parents how important it is to sign up for the Affordable Care Act as well. One program to keep an eye on is Disney's federally funded cartoon, Doc McStuffins. Do what the doctor, do what the doctor says. The show was created under the consultancy of the Hollywood Health and Society, which is a federally funded organization through which public health and medical experts offer expert consultation, education, and resources for writers and producers who develop scripts with health storylines and information. This is the same group who will gather with members of the Hollywood elite for a panel titled the Affordable Care Act, comedy, drama, and reality, portraying Obamacare in TV and film. Given that Obama has declared he will assert his unilateral agenda, it's clear that Hollywood is filled with eager servants ready to do the bidding of their dear leader. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march, the Empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. 
Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com. Well, the Super Bowl continues its role as the poster child for the police state. The Department of Homeland Security has declared the event a level one national security threat, which th that means the feds will be in control of all security operations in New Jersey and parts of surrounding New York. This also means that football fans can expect random bag searches and scattered checkpoints throughout New York and New Jersey transit hubs. So if you're traveling by subway, for example, be prepared to be stopped and frisked. Yo papers, sir. There will be low flying helicopters. There's going to be a heavy police state presence. Police are going to be everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised. Unmanned drones. We know there's going to be random checkpoints. Once again, the Super Bowl provides the perfect cover for curtailing our civil liberties. And you can bet the TSA is going to be there as well. They have announced that they will be conducting security not only at the entrance of MetLife Stadium, but they're also going to be, well, all over the place. They're going to be conducting searches on commercial vehicles, mass transit venues, all throughout New York and New Jersey. And joining us now from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey is InfoWars reporter Jakari Jackson. And, you know, Jakari, it sounds to me like this is the perfect opportunity for the establishment to flex their police state muscle, if you will. What do, what do you guys expect to run into this weekend? Well, like you said, we're out here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, right outside the Super Bowl Stadium, the MetLife Stadium. And what we expect to see, we expect to see some Viper team. So Don Salazar posted an article yesterday on Infowars.com documenting how the Viper teams want to come out here to your big sporting events, not just here, but also at uh, other large events as well. So we expect to see that. We're going to go to, uh, to Times Square. It's supposed to be a lot of uh, new cameras placed up there temporarily, of course, for your safety. I don't think it's going to be temporary at all. Well, and I want to talk a little bit more about the Viper teams because let's get this straight. They are not going to simply be there right at the gates at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. No, they are going to be, from what I understand, they could even be as, as far as surrounding New York area. And they, could, they have the ability, they could pull over commercial vehicles. They could stop you at bus stations, uh, train stations, subways. These guys are going to be everywhere. You make a very good point, and with the Viper teams, I want to point out this is the TSA, because you remember, Darren, we've been telling people for years that the TSA is going to leave here airports and go to the streets of America. And they said we're a crazy conspiracy yeah, theorist. Yeah, that, that's a conspiracy theory. That's never going to happen. That's just some, some conservatives down in Texas making this stuff up, but it's very much real. And now it's come to, uh, to fruition, and it's not just here. It's not anything brand new, Darren. These things have been out there, and I know you know this, but to our viewers who uh, this is new information to, the Viper teams have already left the TSA. They've been out going around to the streets and the big sporting events for a while. And not only the Viper teams, but they had the TSA-style checks at the Super Bowl and also sporting events as well. We've seen that Major League Baseball is going to have more uh, security measures coming by, I think it's the end of 2015. So it's going everywhere. And even when you come out here to the Super Bowl, you're going to get a pat down. You can't bring in your own personal bag. It's the only thing you can bring is a little dinky Ziploc bag because your bag needs to be, be uh, clear so everybody can see what you have. So if you're a lady and you have some uh, personal effects in that bag, everybody will see everything that you have in your bag. And Alex made, up, uh, made a very good point on the Alex Jones radio show today. He was talking about how they want you to wear uh, clear raincoats, Bloomberg said, here when you come to the city of New York or uh, New Jersey. And they want you to wear clear raincoats. So why don't we just go all the way and just wear clear clothing all year round? Because that would make everybody safe, Darren. Well, unless you're the, the part of the Muslim Brotherhood, then you get a free pass. Yeah. So we've reported on that as well. So tell us more about that. The Muslim Brotherhood, they got a, a VIP treatment, if you will, from the TSA recently or from the Department of Homeland Security. They've been allowed to travel freely. Your comments on that? 
Yeah, Darren, we've seen the Muslim Brotherhood, a known terrorist organization. I want to be very clear to our viewers that when we speak about the Muslim Brotherhood, we're not talking about Muslims in general. We're talking about a known al-Qaeda-linked organization that the Egyptian government has deemed to be a terrorist organization. So the Muslim Brotherhood can come here to the state and walk right past, be waved through TSA security. We had to be checked out when we came uh, from Austin out here to our airport uh, here in New Jersey. We had to be checked out by the TSA. I myself got a pat down. We uh, seen uh, another lady who got a pat down as well. We have to go through this, Darren, but people who are known terrorists, and I'm not talking about a terrorist like a little kid who happens to have a similar name to a known terrorist. No, I'm talking about real, actual, documented terrorists can walk straight through the TSA with no trouble. Well, it, it's out of control, and, and people have to be prepared to basically surrender their, their civil rights and, and submit blindly to authority, if you, if you will. That's what it means to become a, a football fan now. And That's what I, it means to become uh, an American in general, Darren, because... If this, you is want to go to this is indoctrination. This is indoctrination. We've seen they want to have uh, checkpoints in malls, at movie theaters, all this stuff. You know, and Obama comes out, he says, well, we need to keep our people safe, you know, like he did in the uh, State of the Union address. He said, I want to save people in our schools and our churches and our this and our that. But, you know, these TSA-style checkpoints aren't saving anybody because the TSA has not caught a single terrorist to date. And if they did, they'd be out parading, telling everybody that they actually accomplished something. So I know they haven't done it. Well, you got that right. And I tell you what, if somebody were to buy me Super Bowl tickets 10 years ago, I would have, I would have been ecstatic. I would, I would have been extremely happy. And now I, I just can't imagine what it must be. You guys are going to go through hell just to get in the place. Just to get in the place. Cause I was talking to Josh and I was thinking, you know, is it worse that we're going to be sitting outside in the cold during the Super Bowl? Or is it going to be worse that we have cold hands touching our junk just to get into the freaking building? It's ridiculous, Darren. And what and about, you have, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. not only that, but you know, then you have to go and watch these demonic halftime shows We've seen the things in the past Super Bowls. We see the things at the Grammys. What is our country coming to? Why do people put up with this stuff? Yeah, I was just going to, that's the direction I was heading. A few years ago, we had the blatant performance by Madonna, which was an apparent, oh, it was an obvious Illuminati type of uh, ceremony, satanic ritual, if you will. Then a couple years later, we have Beyonce. And it's not just the Super Bowl, it's the Olympics. It was a few days ago at the Grammys. Yes. You guys are going to have a pretty good vantage point. You're going you're gonna to see the satanic ritual in a couple days? Well, we'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Bruno Mars. I'm not sure how their stage performances go, but we'll be here. We'll definitely be on the scene. We'll uh, get the best footage we can, uh, get as close to, get close to the action as we can, and definitely report that back to our viewers. Hey, another thing, the, the days leading up to the Super Bowl, what's on the agenda? I'm sure you plan on talking to football fans and the like. What are you going to be doing the next couple of days? Yeah, we uh, definitely want to talk to the football fans here. We were a little uh, disheartened to realize that you can't tailgate at the Super Bowl anymore. I said uh, to Alex in the Alex Jones radio show, we pulled up and we asked the guy, one of the security, I said, hey, man, where's the tailgate at? Because there's nobody out here, uh, just a small number of workers. I said, where's the tailgate at? And he looks at me so crazy, he says, sir, Nobody tailgates at the Super Bowl anymore. You know, like this was common. Not so you, people can't tailgate at the Super Bowl. You can have your big uh, Pepsi pyramid back here. You can have your your Viper teams running around. You can have your police state measures running around. But if you want to sit out here and grill some hot dogs with your kids and you know maybe crack a beer or two, that's not allowed here at the Super Bowl. So we will talk to the fans, Darren. But we'll have to go to other places. We'll hit up uh, Times Square. We'll go to some different locales. We'll try to uh, find those new security cameras that are supposed to be temporary in Manhattan. We also want to talk to people not just about the police state measures, but also things such as human trafficking. Human trafficking is a huge deal at the Super Bowl, as reported on uh, back when the Super Bowl was in Miami a few years ago. And not just that, but uh, other sporting events as well. All right, good job, guys. Looking forward to seeing those reports. That's going to do it for tonight's broadcast. The InfoWars Nightly News will return, Lord willing, tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Till then, have a blessed evening. We'll see you back right here tomorrow. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.
Well, as more evidence surfaces of the TSA acting as a lawless gang that is power tripping, now they're extending